Robert Love. I'll tell you what, this is the one that we've been waiting for, Joe. Well, we said this one was making the headlines nation and now worldwide. There are photographers here covering it from Japan. There are photographers from Europe. We have, of course, our official LPWA photographer, Miss Kelly. She is also here, one of the finest photographers in professional wrestling. I think she's highly overrated myself. Well, she's had some very nice things to say about you, too, Mr. Cornette. Well, right there, that shows you she can't be that. I mean, uh, well, she must be a fine young lady. Right now, Rock and Robin opening up against Leilani Kai. Takes her over with a big arm drag. Leilani Kai and Judy Martin, the Glamour Girls, are going to make a point of showing Rock and Robin and Wendy Richter that just because they happen to be the two biggest single stars in the history of women's wrestling, well, that doesn't make them a tag team, brother. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You've got Wendy Richter and Rockin' Robin, both former WWF ladies champions. You've got the Glamour Girls, former WWF ladies tag team champions, and of course currently the world tag team champions as recognized by the LPWA. This match is nothing but championship material. Let me ask you this. Is this a tag team match? Yes, it is. Then what do singles titles have to do with anything? Because it shows have, the caliber of wrestler that we're talking have about. Have Wendy Richter and Rockin' Robin, to your knowledge, ever teamed before? Uh, no. No, that's why they're calling this the Big Green match. Because you got the two best singles against the best tag team. But being a great singles wrestler does not make you a great tag team. Wendy Richter cranking up on the arm right now. Judy Martin wasn't too anxious to get in the ring at that no, time. No, she sure wasn't, as a just, matter of fact. Just trying to lull her opponent into a false sense of security. Right. One of the top lady wrestlers in the world in there right now, Wendy Richter. And she is, of course, taking on one of the other. I mean, you know what, Jim? If you, if you rated the top ten wrestlers in the, in the world of ladies wrestling, four of the top ten are right there in the ring. In fact, matter of fact, it may well be four of the top five. Well, I tell you Adding this. Terry Power in there, of course. Of course, of course. I knew you'd add Teddy, Terry Power into everything. If you rated Leilani Kai and Judy Martin in singles competition, they'd be in the top ten. Well, I agree with that. Because, you see, they're all around great wrestlers. But we're talking tag team strategy now. Wendy Richter may have an initial early advantage. Rock and Robin may be all sweetness and light over there. And she's bopping around and she's got so much energy and enthusiasm. It just makes me want to puke. But the point of fact is that over the long haul, the Glamour Girls' experience will win out. Well, plus they do have that extra advantage of the queen on the outside of the ring out there. Queen's going to do nothing wrong. Don't worry about the queen. Oh, oh Wendy Richter comes down on the arm of Lilani Kai. And she is really working on that. You know, that was one of the things that made... Wendy Richter so famous was the ability to pick on one part of the opponent's body and just wear it down to the point that it was almost useless. I thought that was what made the Anderson famous. Well, it was. And look at Leilani Kai now going to the step over told, and you've got to realize that Kai and Martin both, oh, wait a minute, a reversal. Kai and Martin both have more experience in wrestling than even Richter and Robin. All right, take wait a, a look at this. Robin just... What is this, musical chairs? Well, it's what's good for the goose is good for another gander at it. So let's take one. Wait, they're back and forth, back well, and now, forth. If they would just... Oh, this time the Whoa. Rock and Robin is waiting for. And Robin Whoa. says enough is enough. Wow. All four ladies are in the ring. Robin just throws Judy Martin out and says, okay, now I'll go out now that it's even again. Meantime, in the ring, Wendy Richter working on that leg. And Lonnie Kai Wait a minute. is getting a bad wheel here. That was an excellent point. Queen Christopher Love just raised. Has anybody applied any sharp near the rules of wrestling? Rock and Robin up on the ropes, leapfrogs and down oh. over the leg. My God. That had to cause immense pain to the knee. And now where are we could going have with possibly, this? Could have possibly torn the anterior cruciate, possibly the posterior cruciate ligament. There is no telling what kind of damage that could have done to Leilani Kai's knee. Well, it has got the queen very concerned. Christopher Love walking around the ring, very upset. And now Judy Martin interfering once again in the match. But it's not going to do any good because Lalani was not able to get away. Lalani trapped over in that corner. Great tag team strategy by the team of Richter and Robin as they are keeping Lalani Kai over in their corner. Sooner or later, even a blind squirrel will find a nut. In this case, Robin and <laughs> oh, Richter just got a nut. Oh. <laughs> one time, one time oh, only. Just so tempted. But I, I say again, over the long haul, the Glamour Girls will win out in this contest. And remember, it's two out of three falls. 
When was the last time that you saw the Glamour Girls defeated twice in the same night? Well, I admit you're absolutely correct. It is a <laughs> long, hard road, but if anybody can do it, I think the team of Richter and Robin can. Of course, don't forget now, coming back from Japan and right here on the show in the next couple of weeks, we will have Terry Power and Reggie Bennett. That's another team. The Super Ladies, the Dream Team, that may very well. Now look at this. Wait a minute, what in the world well, is... Well, Eddie Sharkey's telling her she's got to let go of the ropes. What in the world kind of thing is that for the referee to do? Stood on the lady's hand. And I, now, she should be disqualified for slapping her on the derriere. Well, right now, Lalani Kai's going over and she's talking to Judy Martin. They made a tag. Martin comes in and Wendy Richter goes right after Martin. Wow, look but, at Judy but, but Martin. Martin. Seems to be a little bit ticked off. Wow, Judy Martin was at a stomach claw. Once again, the stomach claw, one of the most dread holes in professional wrestling. Becoming very popular here in the LPWA. Well, and a lot of people have requested it. Well, I don't. <laughs> I tell you right now, Judy Martin, she is swinging like a buzzsaw. Boy, and over there and a fist in the face of Rock and Robin. Yeah, she's just Bring trying to Robin draw Robin ring. in. Eddie Sharkey, of course, being real physical here. Telling Rock and Robin yeah. to get out, and the Queen Look just... at the Queen just pulling the hair of Wendy Richter down. Robin over there is trying to tell the referee what's going on, but for some reason, Eddie Sharkey's spending all of his time over in the other corner. Somebody ought to grab Sharkey and say, hey, if you don't mind, take a look at what's going on with the legal woman in the ring. You know, Sharkey had not been the same since they canceled that TV series of his. You know, CPO Sharkey? Yeah. Never been the same since. Right now, Judy Martin... Hooks Wendy Richter up, hangs her upside down on the turnbuckle. Now where is she going with this? She's trying to hang that foot under there. She is helpless now. All right, Robin may need to get in there and do something. Robin trying to come in, but wait. Oh, she kicks Robin. Robin and took the brunt of that. Robin right there now, sitting there across the ring and out on the other side on the floor. And in the meantime, the queen just yanking on the leg of Richter. All right, I'm going to give it to you, Cornette. This is where you said it would pay off, and that is in the long run, the teamwork of the Glamour Girls, because at that point, I think it was a little bit of confusion on the part of uh, Richter and Robin, and the Glamour Girls paid off. But now Richter comes over and makes, makes the, tag. the tag. Richter makes the tag to Robin, and Robin is going like a wildfire. Brother, she is all over Judy Martin. Oh, close, oh, flying clothesline, and now a drop kick. Robin going for the cover, one, two, and Judy Martin kicks out at the two count. Boy, Wendy Richter, her leg may still be damaged where she was hung upside down in the turnbuckles. Oh! Catches her in a flying standing head scissors. Now where's she gonna go with her, Jim? Looks got like her. she's gonna take her in a, in a power driver. She's got her up, Yes, she is, no, it's a power, power bomb. bomb. And now she's got her down, one, and a one two, 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 Wendy wait. Richter comes in. Richter breaks it up. her off. No. What, did she Eddie get Sharkey it? He says he got the three count. She got it. He says he got the three count. So the winner of the first fall. Perhaps again, the experience that Judy Martin and Lonnie Kai have and the teamwork they know from working together for so many years, giving them the first fall. But certainly don't count out the team of Wendy Richter and Rockin' Robin. Let's go back to the ring for the second fall. All right, it's time for the second fall of this two out of three fall match. The Glamour Girls are up one fall to nothing over the team of Wendy Richter and Rockin' Robin. And, Rockin' uh, Robin looks like she's been rocked a little bit. Well, she, it I looks think. Like, looks like she's been robbing the hospital trying to find some pain pills. I think Rockin' Robin needs to get in there just as soon as possible, make a tag, and let Wendy Richter get back in. Although the last time we saw Richter in, she had a, uh, her leg was hurt. So this could be a very uh, interesting fall. What from about behind, Lalani Kai comes from behind and just back stabs, back jumps. Rocket and Robin, and if that's the kind of teamwork you're talking about, Jim, I could do without it. Beautiful tag team strategy. If you have to do without it, Joe, I think we'll manage somehow to carry on. Well, I'll tell you something. How can you condone jumping somebody from behind like that? I mean, well, how would you like easy. it if some guy came up from behind you and bowed off or something? It happens to me all the time. I just deal with it one way or another. The thing to do is keep your eyes open. Watch out. And have eyes behind, in the back of your head, That's right? why you've got a partner and a manager. That's why managers are so important when these when these girls try to jump them from behind. He can yell and say, hey, don't do that. 
No, he can yell and say, hey, duck, duck, watch out. That's exactly right. And right now, Rock and Robin has been taking some punishment. Wendy Richter tries to stick her nose in it, and I tell you what, don't get Judy Martin mad because she will haul off and belch it. Well, you know, I've got to say, give the devil their due. There goes the cliche team again, but I will say this. Get that all cliche notes down. Joe just made another one. All right. But the Glamour Girls, their teamwork is paying off better than the teamwork of Rocket Robin. Oh. There, I said. Well, you see, because Robin and Richter went into this match thinking that they could just team up and make a super team of some sort. They didn't take any ah. team-up matches. And now their inexperience as a tag team combination is coming oh, to the four. Wait a minute. Behind four. you. She teed off. What a subject flip. One, two. two. Whoa. Oh, we were that far away from having the second ball even in this match. Two and three quarters. Rock and Robin and Wendy Richter down one fall. Robin trying to get over to make the tag. Judy Martin not letting her, though. Now throws Robin into the ropes, comes off. And this time oh, it is Robin that catches Robin. Judy Martin. Robin, Robin trying to make the tag, but Martin, now, look at that, smart on Martin's part. She held on to the leg, comes over and makes the tag with her partner, and now look at Lilani Kai. Just comes in stomping on Rocket Robin. Once again, that's excellent tag team strategy that only comes with experience. I, I agree. She's done well. Now, there's a reversal. reversal. Lilani goes in, comes up. We've got a monkey flip coming. Oh, wow. She goes all the way into the other turnbuckle. Robin goes over and this time makes the tag. In comes Richter. Whoa. Richter drop she kicks drop Lilani kicking. Kai right into the corner with nowhere to go. Lilani Kai looks like she's in some trouble. Whoa! Boy, they are just having a wild old time in this ring. She is throwing Lilani Kai back, forth, hither, and yon. All right, Richter's got the arm of Lilani Kai. I think Lilani thinks she's run into a uh, hurricane here. She doesn't know what she's run into at this point, I guarantee you. Kicks, boots, stomps, everything. Anything goes in this match. I think you can throw the rule book out, Jimmy. Well, as a matter of fact, it's already sailed just a little while ago, but right now they have pulled Wendy Richter back in the corner. Got her in no man's land, this in this is case, not no a woman's good place land. To be. Sharky once again being real physical, getting right in between them. And you see now Robin, she got Robin. in the ring. And the referee went straight to Robin and is telling Robin to stay out while her partner's getting murdered well, in the other ring. Robin, Eddie Sharky, Robin shouldn't have been in the ring. I tell you something, I know we're not supposed to say anything about these referees. Rock and Robin shouldn't have been in the ring. That's all that, that, that you can say about that. And if she hadn't been in the ring, Sharky would not have turned his back. Well, yeah, but Eddie Sharky, look at this guy, look at this. What's he doing now over there? Well, he's Eddie, trying to keep Rocky Eddie, Robin out of the ring. have never heard of the five count, Eddie? Boy, I tell you what, you just want to blame other people for, for somebody else's shortcomings. Yeah, now look. Wait a minute, reversal, drop kick, clothesline, holy mackerel. All right, the team of Richter and Robin trying to come back, but I, I, to be honest, Jimmy, I wonder if they've had too much taken out of them. Robin Whoa, misses Robin the misses drop the drop kick. kick. These now, Judy Martin's going to take advantage of They're going to ram their heads together. Double head bumper. They're going to ram their heads go. together. Oh, oh, the Glamour Girls meet the middle. Richter and Robin had enough sense to kick them off. And now they're down, and now all four in the ring, they're just slugging it out. Everybody's going absolutely. Wait, wait a minute. What's now Sharky what has doing? Sharky done? Has he, has he called it off? It's just a wild melee. We don't know. Did he? He couldn't disqualify one or the other, certainly, because... All four women are in the ring. All four parties are to blame. I don't, I don't know whether we're going to be no able to get an official what is decision going here. On here. It was just wild pandemonium there at the end. Nobody heeding the referee's directions whatsoever. What is the referee call? What is the official decision? Can we get an official decision, what? referee? He, he's disqualified both teams. That's the way I read it. Double disqualification. Well, wait a minute. If it's a double disqualification, then who wins the